For today's craft, you will need a paper cup, a small paper circle, a popsicle stick, a Sharpie marker along with some other colored markers, a pair of scissors, and some tape. Hello, bonjour, and tanse everyone. My name is Pearl and welcome back to another virtual Sunday school. I'm so excited that you decided to join me here today because as always, we have a wonderful story followed by an even more wonderful craft. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Our story today is about Jesus. Now, one day, Jesus traveled to Nazareth. Nazareth is the town where Jesus lived when he was a child. It was a worship day, a day when people went to the synagogue, which is like a church, to sing and pray to God. Now, Jesus followed everyone into the synagogue. He sat on the floor, quietly listened to everything around him, and then prayed to God. When it was time, Jesus stood up and got ready to read. Jesus had been chosen to be one of the readers that day. A helper handed the scroll of Isaiah to him, and Jesus unrolled the scroll and began to read. God loves you. God is always with you. Jesus looked up from the scroll and said to the people, I have come to help, to heal, and to show God's love to everyone. Jesus rolled up the scroll and handed it back to the helper and said, These are special words. God wants you to know that I am showing you God's way. I will help you to live in God's way. The people listened carefully. They wondered about Jesus's words. I liked that story. I wonder what the people thought of Jesus. It would be pretty odd to see a young man roll up the scroll after he was done reading and, say, and then say, I am going to help you live in God's way. I'm going to show you what God wants, especially if the people didn't know that he was Jesus. I think Jesus always has a pretty good lesson at the end of his story. And this one is just that sometimes we need to listen carefully to the words that people are telling us. Jesus has a lot of important things to say, which actually gives me a pretty good idea for a craft. So as always, let's join together at the craft table, everyone. Come on, let's go. Welcome back to the craft table, everyone. I am so excited that you're here with me today because we are going to do a little craft and it starts with this paper cup. Now I've painted my paper cup blue, but you could leave yours plain or you could paint it whatever color you like. I just painted it beforehand so that I wouldn't have to wait all this time for it to dry. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut the top about an inch off this. I just don't want it to be as tall as it is. But depending on the size of your popsicle stick, you can have it whatever length you like. So I am just gonna cut the top off this paper cup and then we'll come back. All right, so the reason I cut the top off this is because we want our paper cup to be just a little bit shorter than our popsicle stick. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to make a hole in the bottom of our paper cup that our popsicle stick can go through. So you're gonna use your scissors and you wanna be careful with this. I'm just gonna kind of gently poke a little hole and you might want a parent's help or any adult or an older sibling like a brother or sister, but you want to have something like this that your popsicle stick can go into. And it should look about like this. And you don't necessarily need for it to be perfectly in the center, but you wanna make sure your popsicle stick can actually come out of there and you can still hold on to it at the end. So. Now that we have that done, we're actually going to set our paper cup aside 
and bring forward our little paper circle. Now, I actually cut this out of the center of a paper plate. I just wanted it to be kind of stiff, not super wibbly wobbly, but you can use whatever paper you can get your hands on. And this is going to be a little face. So we can use our markers, and you can use yarn if you want to, or anything else that you like to use to decorate. And we're gonna make a little face on this paper circle. Right, so here is our little paper face, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it look like you, or look like somebody you know, or you can make it just the coolest face you can think of. So now we are going to flip that face over, and we are going to tape our popsicle stick to our face. And you don't need a lot of tape, but you just want to make sure that the popsicle stick really sticks on there. Sometimes I like to add a tape going horizontally, so across the popsicle stick, and a piece of tape going vertically, so with the popsicle stick, just to make sure that everything is nice and secure. And it is, that guy's not going anywhere. So we'll move our tape out of the way, and what we can end up doing is we can end up putting our little person in our cup. And if you grab onto it from the other end, you can oh, hide him inside the cup. That's pretty cool. But you're probably thinking, Pearl, why are we making this? Well, earlier we were talking about Jesus and how he liked to spread the word of God. And what's God's favorite thing to do? Love. So God loves all of us. God loves everyone. And that's what Jesus's message was in the story we read. So it, I can write on this cup something like, what's Jesus's message? So the cup says, what's Jesus's message? And you and I know what Jesus' message is. It's that God loves everyone. But not everyone knows that. So you can go up to your parents or your brothers and sisters or your friends and you, and you can get them to read this. So you can go up to your parents and say, read this. And they'll say, what's Jesus' message? Then you can pop that little head up out of there and say, God loves everyone. And that can be a fun little game. And if you want to set it down, you can set it down like this, or you can set it down like this until you'd like to play that game again. I had so much fun with you all today making this little pop-up puppet. <laughs> and I hope you had just as much fun with me. I think the story we read was super cool. And I think this thing will be very fun to play with. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you all next week. And remember, God loves you very much. And you should love yourself too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>